to my solution for the New Orleans cask from the book The Secret by Byron Price. I use verse 2 and image 7. At the place where jewels abound, 15 rows down to the ground. In the middle of 21 from end to end, only three stand watch. As the sound of friends fills the afternoon hours, here is a sovereign people who build palaces to shelter their heads for a night. Gnomes admire Faye's delight, namesakes meeting near the site. At the place where jewels abound, I use as the waterfront, aka the moonwalk, right in front of the Mississippi River in the French Quarter. I know a lot of people like to use Harlequin Park because there's a bunch of jewel named streets over there, but I believe that's a decoy. I think we start at the waterfront because if you use the clock face as a map where the stars in the moon are kind of act like the waterfront. After all, it is blue and the stars do sparkle like jewels. Nearby there is a moon Landro monument, which represents the moon in the painting as well. 15 rows down to the ground are the number of steps from Washington Artillery Park to Jackson Square. Washington Artillery Park is literally across the street from the waterfront. It's like right next to it. You'll see the big cannon and then there are literally 15 steps down to Jackson Square, which is also a square and circle shaped, just like in the clock face. In the middle of 21 from end to end has two meanings. First, it takes us by St. Louis Cathedral and the Louisiana State Museum, which have 21 arches going across their facades. It also helps us in our final dig spot. Same with only three stands watch. This really helps us when we get to our final dig location to help us as a marker. Only three stands watch is also a clue to look at the painting, which has a clock pointing to three o'clock. As the sound of friends fills the afternoon hours is a reference to heading towards Bourbon Street, where you spend literally your afternoons or your happy hours, also likely with friends. So Bourbon Street is a perfect fit for these lines. Here is a sovereign people. This line has multiple historical references, including the sovereign people's movement from the late 1970s. This movement was a left extremist movement that favored local government over federal government. The Southern Poverty Law Center, commonly known as the SPLC, was created to combat this movement and continues today to combat right-wing and left-wing extremist groups. It is also a reference to the free people of color who were not slaves, but black people who either bought their freedom or were not born into slavery. The next line, who build palaces to shelter their heads for a night, refers to the Covenant House, which is a historical halfway house and homeless shelter that is on Rampart Street, very close to Congo Square. Gnomes admire Faye's delight. These lines, I believe, are mainly just filler lines and just letting us know he's talking about the treasure. Namesakes meeting near this site are St. Louis and Louis Armstrong. So whether you're using St. Louis Cemeteries 1 and 2 or St. Louis Street, uh, St. Louis Street actually runs into the cemeteries, I believe, or very close, um, as well as Louis Armstrong Park. They're both 
uh, right in the same area that makes sense to use those two. There are actually a lot of non-crucial Easter eggs in this painting, one of which uh, is in the background of the painting hidden in the tiles. It looks like almost in typewriter font uh, and sideways it says Le Louvre, which uh, is the big art museum in Paris. And since this is a French painting, it makes sense. You also see what looks like a grim or a dog or a horse's head hidden in the tiles. These are the hitches for horse carriages back in the day. So when you're going down streets in the French Quarter, you might see them and you're on the right track. One crucial anomaly in this painting is the weird triangle-shaped tattoo peeking out of the guy's sleeve, as well as the Roman numeral three on the clock that has that weird dark notch next to it, as well as the newspaper boy's tights and the chips and the nails holding the mask. So the riddle leaves us somewhere near the Covenant House on Rampart Street in Congo Square. There is, however, a small triangular green space to the left of Congo Square that, if you're looking at a map, matches the outline of the weird triangle in the creepy hand sleeve. This green space is famous for having Louis Armstrong and friends play there. He even had a song named Basin Street Blues. We need to use triangulation to find the exact spot from here. We use the line in the middle of 21 from end to end as one of our trajectories. This matches up the stone pillars that make up the southern side of the Basin Street Grove fence closest to the Covenant House. We know this is correct because in the painting in the clock face on either side we have these wooden like pillars that match the outline of the cement pillars in this area. In the middle of these 21 pillars, on the 11th pillar, there are two big notches. One big one and one little one. This makes this one stand out and it also matches the notches reiterated in the painting. The second trajectory we use is the dark rectangular notch next to the Roman numeral 3, which matches the outline of rectangular storm drains on the west side of Basin Street Grove. The middle storm drain matches up with the dark notch next to the middle eye in the Roman numeral three. So we can conclude this is our second trajectory to use in triangulating the final dig spot. Now you walk these two trajectories together to form an intersection and that is our dig spot. We also look at the letters in the boys' tights in the circle. The letters say dig in or dig it, telling us to dig within this circle where the hands on the clock intersect. The trajectories are meant to be symbolic in the painting as well using the clock face hands. We use the minute hand as our one trajectory for the middle of 21 and we use the hour hand as our second trajectory for only three stand watch. So again, this is a hint to intersect these trajectories and dig within the intersection, like the hint in the tights within that circle. So here is a picture of the middle of 21 uh, fence post, um, as well as the final dig spot right here by this tree. That would be our final dig spot. Although there's a tree there, it should still be recoverable.